So in this video, I wanted to give you my top five reasons why I recommend a Mac Mini. Now, I have a Mac Mini right here. This is the M1 version, and I've owned Mac Minis in the past. I start my, my whole experience with Apple actually began with a 2012 Mac Mini with an i7 processor and 16 gigs of RAM, by the way, which you could upgrade on your own, which you can't anymore. You can't upgrade anything on Mac computers anymore, which is a shame, but that's a whole different topic. Today, I wanted to discuss five top reasons why you should get a Mac mini. So first of all, it's the best value Mac by far. Apple products are quite expensive, but when it comes to the Mac mini, Mac mini is sort of a way for Apple to get new customers. Like for anyone who's ever been curious to test out the Apple ecosystem, getting an a Mac or something like that. In order for them to do it, it needs to be, I wouldn't say cheap, but it shouldn't be too expensive for them to try it out. And that's why the Mac mini exists, right? So the Mac mini definitely holds the best value, especially if you get something with the M1 or M2 chip, then you get really a lot of performance for your money. And so hands down, best value Mac or even scratch that Apple product ever. Okay. It's really good. Now, the second reason is that while you can't customize the things inside the Mac mini, you can customize a lot of things on the outside. So for example, obviously you can pick your own mouse, your own keyboard. Now I do have the magic trackpad, which I enjoy using, but I actually use a Logitech uh, mouse and I do use an Apple keyboard as you can see right here but with the Mac mini when you buy it it's completely standalone it doesn't come with anything other than a charging cable so you can pick your own mouse your own keyboard and your own monitor right and your own speakers like you can select basically anything you want to use right and so I love that about the Mac mini the customizability it's it's fantastic. Now, the third reason why I recommend a Mac mini, and this is if you compare it to pretty much all computers, is that it's super quiet. It's mostly due to the M1 chip, right? But it's so quiet. There is a fan inside here. Like I've trapped one of my fans in here. <laughs> no, not funny, no. But it's so quiet. Even when I do really heavy 4K editing, this thing never gets hot. Even in the summertime, it just never, I've never heard the fan even once. It's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And I remember what it was like to have the Mac mini from 2012. That thing made a lot of noise. Like I couldn't make videos like this and have my Mac computer on because it was making so much noise. So, this is a very quiet computer and I doubt you can find too many computers that are this quiet, at least for the price. Okay. Reason number four, this is a very compact desktop computer, which means that it doesn't take up a lot of space on your desk, which is essential. Now I know some smart ass people will say, well, yeah, but if you have like a tower, you can have it under the desk. Yes, it is true, but I have very thick thighs, so I need room for my legs, you know? So no, I need to have my desktop on the desktop. You know, it's called a desktop for a reason. And that's why I need to have it here, but it is minimal. And so you can put a lot of things here. And also, you know, this surface is um, kind of nice. It's good looking, you know? And if you don't like it, you can change the sign, put something here. You can put your cup of coffee here. Maybe not a good idea. Forget that one. <laughs> okay, and the fifth reason why you should get a Mac mini is because it's so powerful. Now, this wasn't always the case. There was a time where Mac minis were actually very slow compared to even MacBooks, right? Because they were just sort of gonna make people get into the whole Apple ecosystem, but I think that Apple has sort of realized that it doesn't matter if they make their Mac minis powerful and good. If people start using Mac minis, they'll start to get other things, you know, like an iPhone or AirPods or, you know, Apple keyboards and stuff like that. So Apple is pretty smart if you think about it. Anyway, the Mac mini hands down is a very, very powerful machine especially if you get the M2, especially if you get the M2 Pro, but even the M1, which I currently use, I use it to edit 4K videos very, very fast. It's because the software on macOS is so optimized 
for the M1 chip. So it just works all the time. So those were my five reasons why I recommend the Mac Mini for most people. Unless you're a gamer, because then the Mac Mini is just very boring. There are hardly any games that run good on it. Anyway, those were my five reasons. Do you have one more reason? Put them in the comment section below and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.